What's up guys, the Comics Kid 299 here, and I don't have a book or movie or anything that I'm actually reviewing today. Uh, today I have more of a topic video that I wanted to get off my chest. Uh, this is an ongoing discussion that's been going on uh, for the last couple months leading up to the Batman vs. Superman movie, and I guess I should have uh, gotten around to doing this video before that movie came out, but uh, I think this is a video topic that's still valid even after that movie has come out, so uh, that's okay. Uh, basically, uh, in the movie, the Man of Steel. Spoilers for that movie. Uh, no spoilers for Batman vs. Superman, but spoilers for Man of Steel. Uh, Superman breaks General Zod's neck at the end of the movie. Uh, this was really uh, the thing that divided everyone who loved or hated that movie, I think. If you took that away, there would still be people out there who did not like the Man of Steel movie, but I think the big thing that everyone who hated that movie points to is Superman breaking General Zod's neck. And you've even got actual comic book writers who point to that and they just loathe that scene. Uh, you've got people like Kurt Busiek and Dan Slott and Jerry Conway, uh, people who have written many comic books over the years and they say, uh, Superman does not kill, period, end of discussion. And then you have other people who are saying, no, not end of discussion. Superman has killed before and they will point to uh, in John Byrne's Man of Steel run where Superman uh, executed some uh, Phantom Zone criminals from an alternate reality or uh, the Death of Superman storyline, where Superman killed Doomsday as he was dying. Uh, you've got different moments in Superman's history where he has killed. And then you'll have people, again, people like Jerry Conway, Dan Slott, or Kurt Busiek, who says, just because Superman has killed people before doesn't mean that he should kill people. Uh, they are saying that Superman should not kill people even though other writers have said yes it's okay for him to kill people. And uh, they, uh, like Kurt Busiek even went so far as to say Superman used to pull really mean-spirited pranks on Lois Lane and Jimmy Olsen back in the 1950s and he used to dangle criminals over the edge of a building to threaten them. And he says just because Superman did those things once upon a time does not mean that his character should do those things now. And that's what brings me to my topic. At which point does an aspect of a character become defined as something they definitely do or definitely do not do? Uh, this is another big thing that was discussed uh, in terms of Batman Begins, where uh, Batman, uh, he allowed Ra's al Ghul to die in the end of that movie. And he said, I'm not going to kill you because that was his big thing in that movie. He didn't physically kill anyone in that movie, but he said, I'm not going to save you either. I'm just going to let you die. And that was a little bit of a sticking point for a lot of people. People were thinking, that's awfully close to Batman just straight up murdering Ra's al Ghul since he caused the train to crash and Ra's al Ghul was on the train when he died. That's a lot like Batman murdering Ra's al Ghul. And uh, people are saying, well, it's okay for Batman to kill people because he did kill people back in the first year of his publication. And that's true. Batman did kill a lot of people in the early Batman and Detective Comics. Uh, but the problem is, we've also had like 70 plus years where Batman has not killed people. Uh, and every once in a while, once in a blue moon, you'll have somebody uh, sneak a comic in where Batman does end up killing somebody. But by and large, you look at his however many decades of publication history, and for the most part, Batman has remained a non-killer. And so uh, you'll have people who will say, well, once upon a time, this character did do this or did do that. And it begs the question... At which point do you say, okay, that is no longer a valid aspect of this character. You've had so much more character development over the years. You've had many more people who have added new layers. And what they have added, that counts, and that is good character development. But what, say, John Byrne did on Superman in the 1980s when he killed those Phantom Zone criminals from an alternate reality, that is bad. And so we're just going to ignore that. That does not count. But what Kurt Swan did in the 1950s and 60s, that's good, and we are going to accept that as being part of Superman. Uh, I don't have an answer to this. This is just something that's been bothering me a little bit lately. Uh, leading up to the Batman vs. Superman movie, once again, people have been arguing about Superman breaking General Zod's neck. And as it turns out, uh, that's a topic that's going to be discussed probably until I die and way after I die. People are always going to be arguing about, should this character do this or that, even though they did these things once long ago, have we moved past that at this point? Have we gotten to a point where we should ignore those aspects of the character, even though they are part of the character's history? Should we accept all these other parts of the character's history and ignore that? Uh, I, Like I said, I don't have an answer to this. This is just something that 
I feel like these people, uh, people like uh, Dan Slott and Kurt Busiek and Jerry Conway, those are just the ones that I've seen complaining about it on Twitter. Uh, these people, they will say, oh, well, uh, you, he used to do a lot of really terrible things, uh, but we don't want to accept all that. But then in the same breath, they will say that all these things that happened around the same time that Superman was pulling really mean pranks on Lois Lane or Jimmy Olsen, they will accept that as being part of who and what Superman is. Uh, so I think it's a very odd dilemma. It's not so much a dilemma. Uh, if you're not bothered by uh, character inconsistencies and stuff like that and what should define a character, then it's not a dilemma at all. Uh, but I think it's a very uh, interesting discussion to have. And I was just curious what you guys thought. If you have anything to add, uh, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear other people's topics if you have your own video on this. I know YouTube doesn't do uh, YouTube video responses anymore, but if you have your own video that's uh, in line with this topic that I'm throwing out there, uh, direct me to it and I'll see if I can get around to watching your video. Uh, but this is something that I would really love to see other people uh, get into and discuss and try to be civil, please. Uh, but it's one of those things that uh, I find it to be a very interesting topic. Why do we uh, accept items from a character's past as being official and that's part of who the character is but then other things that might even be more recent we would say no that doesn't count uh for example for me uh batman using guns and killing people is pretty much a deal breaker uh, i don't like a batman that kills people so uh it's one of those things where i will say no batman does not kill he does not use guns and then people will point to all the times that he has used guns and i say it doesn't matter. Batman doesn't use guns. Those comics are bad if they have Batman using guns. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, those are just about all the thoughts that I had on this very disjointed topic video. I hope that you guys still liked what I had to say. And uh, I will be back uh, sometime next week and later this week with some other videos. So in the meantime, you guys have a great rest of the day. I will catch you later.